This is Math 99. We are going to take a peek at section 8.5. And remember, uh, these eight, these sections out of eight, we're using the uh, elementary algebra text for this one. So make sure you're looking at that one for the stuff you are going to do practice. So we're doing complex fractions, and complex fractions are just division. So this three fifths over nine tenths, this um, literally just means. The, the numerator divided by the denominator. And we know how to deal with that. When we're doing problems like this, we can take the reciprocal of the thing we're dividing by and then just multiply. So I can rewrite this as 3 fifths times 10 ninths. And then uh, I can multiply right away. I'm going to do a little bit of factoring first so I can do a little bit of canceling. canceling. 10 is 2 times 5, 9 is 3 times 3. It's multiplication straight across. So three divided by three is one. Five divided by one is uh, five divided by five is one. And notice I have this two thirds left. And there's my answer. Great. Let's take a peek at a couple more. So this would be the same as four over uh, y minus three divided by eight over y squared minus nine, which we know when we're dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's the same as that. And what I want you to notice is that I can do a little bit of factoring here. Y squared minus 9, that's the difference of squares. Like that middle term is a 0y. So I could write this as y plus 3 times y minus 3. And 8 is 4 times 2. You don't need to write it that way, that 4 times 2 piece. I just like to show it that we're just factoring. Um, so 4 divided by 4 is 1 y minus 3 divided by y minus 3 is 1. So what's left is a y plus 3 in the numerator and a uh, 2 in the denominator. And notice y can't be 3. It can't be positive 3 or negative 3 because all of those would make me divide. So taking a peek at this one, uh, this would be the top divided by the bottom. So how about I just flip it right away? That'd be the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the, of the bottom of that big denominator, which would be that. I'm going to factor what I can. Things that multiply to positive 12 add to negative 7 would be uh, negative 4, negative 3. So I'm going to factor this as x minus 4 times x minus 3. Those x minus 4s divide out. Notice it's 1 left in the numerator. So it's 1 over 2 times x minus 3. Okay, let's do a couple more of these. I think that you are probably feeling pretty comfortable with them because. We've been doing division. Uh, so one plus one over x plus one over y divided by one over x minus one over y. So I could rewrite them first, or I could turn this into division first. I think I'm going to deal with like I have one over x plus one over y. I'm going to simplify that numerator and simplify that denominator. So in order to simplify here, I need a common denominator. So I'm going to uh, multiply both top uh, and bottom on this one by y over y, and this one is x over x. You see how that would give me a common denominator? So now I have, um, and then here I'm going to multiply, same thing, y over y, x over x. And I'm just simplifying what I can to make this into a single fraction instead of two fractions added together. I can't just start flipping now, I need it just a single fraction. So this would be uh, x plus y over xy over uh, y minus x, xy. And now notice I have fraction over fraction, so I can turn this into a multiplication problem. The top divided by that denominator, but I'm, how about I just take the reciprocal and multiply, so I don't have to write it twice. So xy divided by xy is uh, 1. And notice I have. Uh, x plus y over y minus x. Yeah, I'm done. I can't do anything else with that. It's tempting to try and cancel some stuff out, but uh, x plus y, I would need an entire x plus y to cancel out this uh, x minus y. Okay, let's give this next one a try. Uh, same idea. I'm going to simplify the top, simplify the bottom, so I have a fraction over a fraction instead of like something minus something else. And then I can do my flip and multiply. 
So on this one, this is like b over 1. So I'm going to multiply it by uh, b plus 5 over b plus 5. Uh, this has a b plus 5. This has a b minus 5. So I'm going to multiply this one by b plus 5 over b plus 5. Multiply this one by b minus 5 over b minus 5. So let me do these a piece at a time, just focusing on that numerator right now. B gets distributed into there, so that makes us a B squared plus 5B minus 3B over B plus 5. And then this denominator here, this 2 gets fact, uh, distributed into there, so that would be 2B minus 10 plus one gets distributed into there, b plus 5 over b plus 5 times b minus 5. Now I can combine some like terms here. So 2b plus b is 3b, negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5. So this should become a 3b, because I combine those, negative 10 plus 5 is negative 5. All right. Let's go to it then. So now I have b squared minus 5b. You know what? Uh, hang on, let me double check something. Yeah, minus 3b. Oh, 5b minus 3b, that's a 2b. How about I rewrite that as b squared minus 2b over b plus 5 times, I'm going to flip it, b plus 5, b minus 5, flipping that uh, denominator, over 3b minus 5. Factored, factored. I could factor a b out of here, but it's not. Nothing's going to cancel. B plus five goes. I think that's all I've got. So my answer would be b uh, times b minus two times b minus five, all over three b minus five. Let's look at a couple more here. Here's one. I've got one third plus one sixth over one half minus one third. Let's see, if I want a common denominator in the numerator to combine these, I want to combine these to single fractions and then I can do my take the reciprocal and multiply. This is already in terms of sixths, so I'm going to turn this into sixths. I'm going to turn, and I'm just doing these at the same time since I can. Uh, two and three, six goes into both of those. So I'm going to multiply by three over three, two over two. So notice if I do that, I've got uh, two plus one, so three sixths over 3 minus 2, 1 sixth, which you can reduce if you want, but I'm just going to do this. Boop. The answer is 3. All right, let's see what else we got here. Two more. All right. So that, that top up there is all taken care of. I'm not going to need to do anything with that. I'm going to clean this up in this denominator. I'm going to combine some like terms. Uh, x squared minus 36, that factors to uh, x plus 6 times x minus 6. So if I want to do the subtraction in the bottom here, I'm going to need uh, an x plus 6 in that denominator. So let me clean this up. 4 times x is 4x plus 24. So I'm going to have 4x plus 24 minus 4 over... Um, x plus 6 times x minus 6. I'm going to keep going to clean that up. Combine some, I can combine some like terms here. Um, 24 minus 4 is 20. So 4x plus 20 over x minus 6 times x plus 6. And that was just my denominator, right? In my numerator, I have 2 over x plus 6. Keep going from here. Make that black. I've got 2 over x plus 6 times, take the reciprocal at that bottom, um, x minus 6 times x plus 6. And how about this? I see right away I can factor a 4 out of here, so I'm going to just do that. And let's see, x plus 6 divided by x plus 6, 4 goes into 2 twice. So this leaves me an x minus 6 in the numerator. And a 2 times x plus 5 in the denominator. Great. Hey, one more example, and then we will be free as we can be. Uh, I'm going to deal with this numerator real quick. 3 over, let me factor this, 2 and 5. 
And that's going to be multiplied by whatever this one is uh, taking the reciprocal. So let me do this. I need a common denominator. So this one needs an x plus 5. Distribute that 4 into there. That'd be 4x plus 20 plus x plus 2. That's all over the denominator. Uh, 4x plus x is 5x. 20 plus 2 is 22 over that denominator. So this would be, uh, notice numerator divided by denominator, which is the same as multiplied by the denominator uh, flipped. x plus 5 over x plus 2. Uh, I'm sorry, x plus 5 times x plus 2 over 5x plus 22. Oh, look at that. That goes, that goes, and it leaves me a 3 over 5x plus 22. Awesome. Hey, give these problems a try. Remember, we're working out of the elementary algebra text, and then um, we will answer any questions that come our way. This is the last chapter that we're pulling out of the elementary text. We'll be back with the other text. All right, post any questions you have.